Week 8, we'll get underway then at Newbury with the Levy Board Handicap Hurdle. This is a Class 2 0 2 160 and the field beginning to come through. Then the top one is Hurricane Fly for Ryan Tamasemi. Cool Mega Bank for Martin Leedham. Greek Kingdom and Anastasia for Paul Rhodes. National Anthem for Darren Thompson. Seeking Orange, Daniel French. Winter Garden, Jim Murray. Classy, David Hooley. Dominion of Darkness, Josh for Sutherland. Treadwell, Shell for Graham Clutterbuck. And Lina Avery for Alex Cherry. Tycoon Spirit, B. Fotheringham. Akimoto, Senator, David Robertson. Brilliant Melody, Alex Cherry. Turbo Jet for Red Eyes. Right Stuff, Obi-Wan. Yes, Hollywood. Derek Hinton. Broughton Zero for Thomas Rogers. Actually, that's Broughton. Zorro and La Paz for, for Vinnie Gerard. So 19 of the men. Big old field for this. And called in, in the rain and away they go. Let's sit down towards the first flight of the week. Doesn't seem like two seconds since last week finished to me, but there we go. Past the big screen and making the long run towards the first flight then. And right stuff on the inside is the leader passing the winning post. They'll swing left-handed now. And it's a it is an awful long one to the first of the seven flights in this race. And brilliant melody smoke on the outside of right stuff. Those two are disputing the lead, and they're about four or five lengths clear of Alex Cherry's second one, Alina Avery, who's in third and heading the main pack. The one wide on the track, classy, and also pretty wide on the track is the Joshua Sullivan horse, Dominion of Darkness. But they're still making their way towards that first flight and they've already run for over half a mile and they haven't got to the first of the seven flights yet and right stuff is in front by a length to brilliant melody in second and a gap back to the grey anastasia who's now moved into third and after that one comes a liner over in dominion of darkness yes hollywood is next so they finally do get to the first flight which they all successfully negotiate and uh, looking towards the back of the field there are a couple out of shot and their turbo jet and la paz four but it's right stuff who's in front then by a length and a half to brilliant melody in second then anastasia is back in third the liner over is four and then dominion of darkness is making a forward move into fifth on the outside behind that one is the horse in the white sleeves there that's um national anthem as they get over the second but it's still right stuff in front right stuff still the leader from brilliant melody who's three quarters of a length back in second gap of a couple of lengths then to the gray anastasia who's on the inside of a liner avery and over that one also making a bit of a forward move there, Winter Garden, looking towards the back, La Paz 4 and Turbo Jet are still the back two. But the field is pretty tightly grouped and there's probably only no more than 15, 20 lengths between the whole field. And right stuff is that leader from Brilliant Melody in second, Dominion Darkness is third, then Aligner Avery is four, Anastasia is now fifth, then Greek Kingdom and National Anthem. Yes, Hollywood in the pink jacket, making a bit of a forward move ahead of Winter Garden. The first mention then for Hurricane Fly, Callback about is widest on the track now in the purple and white stripes. The pink on the inside of Tycoon Spirit is after that one. The grey La Paz 4 is still the back marker and as they come down towards the business end of the race then and they're racing down towards the next flight with the right stuff in the lead from Brilliant Melody in the second. Dominion of Darkness has now moved through into third. The one that's creeping up on the inside is Greek Kingdom. Anastasia is still there. Yes, Hollywood is being drawn up into a non-existent gap on the inside. That's going to need a little bit of looking running. Hurricane flies wide on the track. After that one, Winter Garden and Tycoon Spirit as they get over the fourth. They've just got three more flights to take now then. And right stuff and Brilliant Melody disputing the lead, but about to be joined by Greek Kingdom. Yes, Hollywood on the inside has now got a little bit of a run through. Also bursting through now is Treadwell Shell. That one's coming with a good looking one as they get over to third. Last Treadwell Shell's come through to dispute the lead now with Greek Kingdom as the early leaders drop away. It's Greek Kingdom in the lead. Treadwell Shell. Now then, Dominion of Darkness and Brilliant Melody coming into it as well as they get over that second last flight. It's Greek Kingdom in the lead. Anna Anastasia second, then on the inside, Brilliant Melody's trying to get back into it again, Treadwell Shell dropped out of it as quickly as he went into it, it's Greek Kingdom over the final flight in the lead, now being chased by National Anthem and Dominion of Darkness, it's Greek Kingdom in front, Dominion of Darkness in second, Brilliant Melody's moved through in the third, they're racing there now towards the final half further, it's Greek Kingdom, Brilliant Melody though is beginning to get up on the outside and Brilliant Melody's burst back through, and Brilliant Melody's going to take the opener, Brilliant Melody's the winner, then Greek Kingdom, Dominion of Darkness, National Anthem and then the field will travel all the way back to a line over his it's a first and last for Alex Cherry. And a race that changed complexion quite a few times there over the final couple of flights. Brilliant melody. A brilliant winner, really. It's a brilliant melody, the winner for Alex Cherry. Greek Kingdom for Paul Rhodes was second. Dominion of Darkness for Joshua Sutherland third. National Anthem for Darren Thompson fourth. And yes, Hollywood for Derek Hinton was fifth.